Welcome guys, welcome back to more Let's Play Rogue Galaxy. Last time we continued our forever trek through the giant prison, and this time after healing and failing to open my menu, we can go over some of the things that I have done in between episodes. Um, I got, I got, where are they? I got Dragon God Skulls. Yay! I didn't really do much else. I didn't finish a lot of the battle recorder stuff. Um, let's see here. Slimes I finished, tarantulas, we already knew that. Uh, the apes and the shadow men, I found these guys in the waste area in large numbers. They weren't in every battle, they were like every three, four battles. But when you fight four or five at a time, it's pretty fast to knock them out. Uh, we got the crows, they're everywhere. The proto beasts aren't done, neither of those guys, neither of those guys, and neither of the savage dogs. But they're all generally in the same area. Uh, the petite pooches, I'm surprised I found as many of them as I did, but don't worry about it. You don't need to worry, you will find them in the next area. Uh, we went over all of the weapon combinations that I wanted. Uh, these are what's left that I'll get into later on. But for now, I think we've had just about enough of all that, so let's not go the wrong way. Let's go the right way and move on with the game. Whoa, take a look at that. This place is more like a secret lab than a prison. Look, Jaster. There are people in there. What's going on? What are they doing in this place? Toying with human lives. They've been experimenting with Rune in order to obtain forbidden powers. What do you mean? There have always been rumors, but I had no idea the experiments had actually gone this far. We can't let them get away with this. <laughs> That wasn't very smart of you. You should have run when you had the chance, old man. Rosencaster! So, it was you getting involved in this kind of experiment. How could such an honorable soldier like you... Shut up! You know nothing about me. Oh, no! <laughs> Playtime is over. I'm gonna crush you, fools. No, you really aren't. All right, because of the way that I've done this let's play, as I've really gotten a lot more powerful than you have to if you want to go through it, you know, like kind of the base and not power up. So basically, you don't have to have Flash Sword level 2 by now. You don't even have to have Illusion Sword by now. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my first demonstration of this boss fight using as few abilities as possible. Basically, just trying to survive and showing you kind of how the boss plays out. And then we'll come back in here with Illusion Sword and knock his, him on his ass in about five seconds. So yeah, if you're behind him, you will avoid damage. After he hits a little bit, he will come out. He can attack from the side with a gun, or from distance with a gun. And he also has that attack as well. All right, let's throw in a little bit of healing there. Yeah, he likes to run away. Ow. When you get him down to about half health. You will see the no damage uh, ability or the no damage start to pop up. Now is the time to heal. Wait for him to get back, charge up and break his guard. Get on healing there. Make sure you guard when he is about to attack. 
because he does do a lot of damage. Oddly, ow. Oddly enough, that's not the main thing to worry about in this fight. The main thing to worry about in this fight, he didn't really do a lot of, and that's status effects. So I'm going to go back, reload my save, and we'll come back here again. And I'll show you how easy this guy is if you decide to use some of the abilities that we have instead of just whacking away at him. Okay, round two. This time, Illusion Sword. Warrior God's Cry. And whatever this is. Okay. And he's gone. The difference between using the abilities that we have and not using them is substantial. It's the same between like getting certain drops. Like even if we were a lot lower leveled, not having all of the damage that we were able to put out in this uh, take on the fight, say we only use level one illusion sword and only use like maybe uh, Simon's attack boost, which is less than Lilica's. Say we just didn't find enough to do it. Otherwise. We're still going to take him down in maybe double what it took us that time, but still far less than it took us the first time. around. Either way, the biggest thing to worry about with this guy is he's got a bunch of status effects on fire, dazed, uh, I think what shocked, maybe unconscious, stuff like that. They're nothing too bad, but the longer you spend in the fight, the more time you're going to get hit with status effects. All in all, not a challenging boss. Rosencaster, don't make Claudia any sadder than she already is. <sighs> Think about what you're doing for a moment. Is this really what she would want? You act as if you know. <clears throat> Damn. We're outnumbered. Run, Gramps. Snap out of it. It's not too late. <clears throat> You guys do realize you're shooting at the warden as well, right? Oh, she's in command of them. Never mind. You're fired. Official notice from President Valkog. <sighs> Goodbye. Well, I was thinking before that he was he going to be. Escaped. Oh, but boy, was that a close one. Don't relax just yet. Fired without choice. But that's a little more than I was expecting. It's all right. Don't worry. They're friends of mine. Friends? What are you talking about? Uh, those are cops. And more soldiers. You, sir. Do you have any injuries? I was a stupid old man to fall for their tricks. Getting myself thrown into jail like that. Crime is just another way to promote war, sir. You said it. And Datron's involved somehow. Datron? Hey, who are you anyway? Finally! Oh, prisoner. Good questions. Isn't that enough? You know, you have the skills of a warrior, yet you have kindness and mercy as well. I didn't think youngsters like you still existed. I'm quite impressed. I'm glad I met you. Same to you, Mr. Kitty Cat. Say, have you seen him somewhere before? Hmm, he looks awfully familiar. This is a really stupid line, which you'll find out the reason for in a moment. We'll probably cross paths again someday. But of course, since you guys are pirates, you better watch your backs. Hey, what's that supposed to mean?
That fella's a real mystery, all right. Anyway, now that we've pulled ourselves together, let's go and get our travel visa renewed. Hurry up. Time's a-wasting. What? That little wench is gonna pay for what she did to us. Uh, can we take care of the visa first? <laughs> Just try to let it go, okay, Lilica? Uh, seriously? The, the current goal is for me to walk out of prison that I just broke out of and then walk back into the place I was arrested at within five minutes of breaking out. This is my plan. My characters are fucking stupid. Yeah, it's short of a miracle. Why would you want to go get arrested all over again? Are you high? You can literally walk right back in. And the first thing you're going to want to do is run back here and grab this uh, save point. That's the smartest thing to do. Grab that save point. It'll be a nice warp point later on. Let's talk to you. Did they arrest someone again? Okay. I did hear something about uh, people getting arrested a lot lately. A guy wearing a blue coat. Let's talk to a couple more people here. Okay, you seem to worship technology. Fair enough. We are going to hit the shops on the way. There is... I'm not sure where the character is. Something about disturbing the peace. I'm guessing the character I was supposed to talk to... Yeah. I guess they're later on? Um... Okay. As powerful as who? Who are you talking about? Anyway, now that we've made it out, we have access to some new items in some of these shops. Not this one. You say anything interesting? No, bad idea. Bad video game. Don't tell me bad advice. All right. I, the reason why I bypassed the shop was because I was trying to get some specific dialogue to pertain to what I was talking about a moment ago. But uh, apparently that's later on, so that's fine. All right. Hopefully you've got some money coming out of jail because, well, we can buy a lot of new things now. Uh, we are on the west side, I believe. Okay, we don't have it yet. Never mind. My bad. The uh, the cue, I think, for finishing the chapter wasn't that cutscene. It's the next cutscene. And in order to do the next one, I'm just, instead of walking all the way there, I am going to warp. Or I'm not going to warp. That's fine, too. We will walk. Yeah, I just, you know... Did my uh, 25 to life. Just got out. Don't mind the fact that I don't know how old Jaster is now that I think about it. I would assume he's probably 17 to 19 based on his personality. Longardia and Draxel. It's the old kitty. Mutually agreed to implement military cutbacks in order to drive home the point to the dissidents still pushing for war. People of Longardia, now is the time to lay down our weapons. 
and take our first steps on the road to peace. I knew I'd seen him before. Well, knock me down dead with a feather duster. It's Admiral Banaj. Okay. You used to live on Zerard. We have, for all intents and purposes, two hicks from backwater planets that have a lot less to do with what's going on in the grand scheme of global politics. You asked them because he looked familiar. You're the only one here who should be able to recognize this guy. Why would you ask that question? Also, we heard uh, from a couple of NPCs about a General Bernage. So we finally met the, uh, well, I'll I guess we met him a while ago, but we finally have a face to go with the name. Admiral Bernard? That's right. He's the commander-in-chief of the Longardian army. So what was a big shot like him doing in prison? Bernard is a pacifist, and he's probably got loads of enemies in militant Longardia. Eh, I'll bet you half a haggis he was put in there by some pro-war zealots. The war. There's no escaping it. Man, she really did a number on you. Crying out loud, you old fool. All this for love. Well, not that I don't understand the feeling. Hmm? Uh. This time, don't let her go. Well, that's a different exchange than I was expecting. You remember one of the NPCs we talked to said something about a guy in a blue coat going into prison. I'm assuming they were referring to Zagram. Guy is still dealing with problems. Definitely dealing with problems. Me, one of them. Yeah, I get that. Mommy, I'm hungry. Hang on just a little longer, GA. We'll go get something to eat soon, okay? Uh. Excuse me, please pardon me for asking, but do you happen to know this person? Mm -hmm. Do you recognize him? Never seen him before. Who is he? He's my husband. His name is Sho. There was an accident at the chemical lab where he used to work, and he was caught in the explosion. He managed to survive, but he's gone missing from the hospital. Uh, Simon, do you know this guy? Uh, uh, no, no, I, I can't say that I do. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mommy! It's okay, Chie. Thank you very much for your time. Um, if you happen to see my husband... Please tell him Miyoko and Chie are looking for him. All right, we'll keep an eye out for him. Thank you. Something bothering you? No, not especially. Oh, uh, I feel a little dodgy all of a sudden. Do you mind terribly if Steve goes with you instead? 
Huh? I'll be joining the party if you don't mind. Thank you for your patience. How's Simon doing? My senses failed to detect anything out of the ordinary. Apart from his body fat percentage, that is. Really? Shots fired. At any rate, let's get to the Galaxy Corporation. The captain will have our heads if we don't hurry. We won't learn what's going on with uh, those two right away. However, that might be my favorite scene in the entire game. Everyone at the factory is preoccupied with the incident. No one would notice me slacking off. Lovely. Now, we did talk to everybody already. But as I talked about before, changing events can change what some of these NPCs are going to talk about. And it gives you kind of a sense of the lay of the land of what's going on around and what their thoughts are. A military computer wasn't the one that got hacked. So something got hacked. This might have something to do with uh, all those ships that weren't working earlier on. And the Galaxy Corporation, we saw that they were bombed. Well, he was missing for a little bit, but uh, not for that long. Let's talk to a few more people. We won't talk to absolutely everybody. Can't rely on the hunters working on Zerard. Why not? They're going to the factory. Well, good, they can get lost. Um, I'm pretending to be him. Does that count? All right, well, let's uh, let's head up here a little bit. Uh, that's the wrong way. I want to go this way. Oh, learning little bits here and there. The police have it rough, huh? I already talked to you. So something's going on with the factory. We'll do the shopping in a little bit. I want to find the one NPC that I know I talked to in my test run that explained what was going on because the game sure as hell isn't going to tell me on my own. Making a ship in the factory. All right, where the bloody hell is this NPC? I know there's one around here somewhere. Well, there was one of them. The guy who got arrested over the Galaxy Corp wasn't actually the bomber. Oh, she got in another accident. Somehow, I don't feel all that sorry for her because how, how annoying she is. But that's just my prejudice. Well, I'm not doing anything with your patrol at this point, other than the fact that you probably should have arrested. More talking about screwing up. I think it's this guy. Nope. Nope. Please, Joystick, do your job. I am facing him. Why is this arrow selecting this other guy? Video game? Maybe we got the charge wrong, but you guys made us suspicious. Be more careful. So yeah, they never really talk about the fact that the guy that uh, Admiral Bernard, I guess, has put in a good word for us and we're now free. We are no longer have anything wrong with us. But uh, yeah, even though it's the stupidest thing imaginable, we're going back to the scene of the crime to... Uh, do more dumb things. Huh? They released you already? Uh. You know, that's really surprising. 
Isn't that awfully fast for a bombing? Gosh, law is like so complicated. We didn't do anything. Oh, this is all your fault. Now, now, let's just get our galactic travel visa renewed. One more time. ZR-KJ-1701, the Dorganark. Huh? Oh, no. What now? Duh. Have you guys been in prison or something? I'm gonna fucking Did kill her. What happened? Huh? I sure did think it was weird. You guys are so out of it. Don't you ever watch the news? Here. We're live at the Daytron factory, where an unnamed individual has taken over the computer mainframe, but has yet to make any demands. A large number of hunters are coming together from nearby cities to capture the criminal. Daytron's offering a sizable reward for the capture of the terrorist. This is Lucy Dine reporting live from the scene of the standoff. So, do you get it now? All of Zerg's government offices are managed by the Daytron mainframe. That's like a big computer. So, anyway, I'm afraid they can't help you till that's all settled and they get it back up. Sorry. You know, you could always go after the criminal yourself if you're in such a hurry. Here, look at this. Attention, Daytron Corporation! This is wrongful termination, pure and simple. I am totally running out of patience here. If you have time to send pathetic hunters in here, you want to give in to my gosh darn requests! I am the victim here! My wife left me and my life became the absolute pit! I demand 200 million zen in compensation for my pain and suffering! I already hate him. Hmm. It sounds to me like this fellow is taking revenge for being fired. Um, guy. that's not what he said. <laughs> if we manage to capture this guy, we can get our visa renewed, right? Yep, I'd say that's about right. Let's go get him. If it goes well, we'll even get that reward from Daytron. My, what confidence. I'm totally impressed. I totally don't that, care. Shut to up. Through the main doors and make a left at the central plaza, okay? Good luck out there. I hate you. So much do I hate you. Okay. Blind dress is indeed a dangerous thing. Aw, poor baby. Ruin vacation. Yeah, join the club. But yeah, I can't do anything. I always seem to miss these two treasure chests because I end up checking out uh, or end up talking to Mio before going to the back here. But that's fine. Here's another shop that we also can't deal with because everything is offline. What about you? Yep, sounds about right. Um, sure. No, definitely not. All right, let's spend the rest of this episode picking up some of the weapons that we need. And none of them are down there. I will be checking all of the shops, uh, but specifically for weapons, we want to go the west side. Uh, we'll start here because we need to pick up uh, something from the west side uh, weapon shop on the way. But we actually need to, can't believe I'm saying this, we need to backtrack into the fucking prison. Don't ask me why. But the uh, prison shop has also been updated and will have something for us to buy. So first things first here, we would like to pick up, let's see, it is the mud spider hatchet. We just want one of these. 
all we need. And that is it for there. Uh, there are other things here, like lots of different weapons, as you can see. Even for some reason, we get a bunch of stuff for Kisala, even though we're not using her at the moment. Yeah, we got lots of weapons for characters we are not currently using. But that's fine. Now we're actually going to backtrack, like I said, into the prison. And walk right on in. I activated this save point so that I could warp there if I wanted to, but since I couldn't get that other uh, weapon on the way here, I had no choice but to uh, do it the other way. Get a couple of treasure chests here containing a mirror unit. Be frugal with this. This is the only one we have right now, and they are very rare. We can't buy them at all until chapter 11. And uh, yeah, we need 24 of them, all for the flow. There are rare drops in the next dungeon, but uh, yeah, be very, very, very careful with them. They will not be infinitely available until basically the end of the game. So this is A1. We never really saw A1 because I should check uh, Steve's equipment while I have him here. Let's give him something new to use. There we go. But yeah, we never actually saw this, even though I talked about it as being an area we could go to. We never got to really see it because, well, it's on the other side of the boss fight that we ignored. Or we basically ignored. We did it, but it wasn't very difficult. I don't need slimes. I'm just going to run from them. What else do we have in here? I can't believe we're, we spent all that time in the prison. Now we're back here again. I don't need to fight tarantulas. Bye. No, we're just going to run away. Sorry. Don't need to deal with that. I'd like my mini map back. Thank you. All right. So we got another save point here. And an elevator. I believe this one takes us down to the previous floor where we met up with uh, that boss fight. Yeah, back to A2. No treasure chest over there. Here we have one, though. Savage dogs. I will absolutely take that. There we go. Quick fight. Dragon God Skull. Love it. And we got ourselves a pepper. Yeah, there's a decent amount of stuff that we can pick up. Like, not like in terms of treasure chests, I think we've got most of them. But uh, there, there's definitely, you know, like there's a whole area basically that we never get to see. There's a couple of save points that we never get to see. Uh, this is that door that was locked before. Uh, so we no longer need to worry about that being locked. Uh, if you look over here, there's a little area over here. There's actually something over there. Uh, well, there's not something. There's a room over there. It's empty. Uh, just keep that in mind for much later in the game. We don't need to do anything with that right now. Yo, doggies. I like it. All right, let's change up our equipment here. Down to the last bow. And down to the last hatchet. And then we'll have to do some combining. make our way through here. Go. Uh, nope, I don't need tarantulas. Bye bye. All right, let's explore what's left of here. I don't think there are any more items, but I could be wrong. My uh, my memory for where items are in these such large dungeons is not uh, great. 
Yeah, I, I jump to avoid having to deal with them. It's one way of trying to avoid some of their damage, especially when they deal damage when they land on the ground. But yeah, that uh, looks like that's pretty much it for this area. Not that long. Uh, I don't need rollers. I've already fought them all. Plus, those guys do huge damage, so I'm going to run. You'll notice that when you start to find battles with like five enemies like that, they do tend to slow down the emulator a little bit. It's not because I have it on such a high internal resolution for the upscaling. It's just the game in general. It, it does that even if I have not absolutely no upscaling on. So I think it's just kind of part and parcel of the game. Like I still have my copy, but I haven't turned on my PS2 in forever. It's sitting in a box and that's probably where it will remain for quite some time. I have an emulator. It's a lot easier to, uh, a lot easier to uh, play games this way when it's a double click to turn it on as opposed to trying to dig out that old console. All right, try charges are available if you feel that you need them. Strength stars have been updated. We'll grab two more of those. Uh, we don't need any more of those, and I don't plan on using them in battle. Stealth pills, as I talked about, not as good as you would hope. We have infinite on a few of those. Revela alloy. We are going to want uh, tons of these. Uh, it's kind of ridiculous how many of these we're going to need, actually. Nine of them for the flow. Forty six of them for the factory. I ran out of these and had to go farm these when I finally went to do the factory. It's basically impossible. Buy as many as you can whenever you can. Uh, nothing else particularly interesting around here. Try charges are there if you want them. But yeah, the important one, some additional strength stars would be nice because we need them for the flow. Uh, and Revela Alloy, anytime you see these, buy as many as possible. I have 10 right now. Uh, might have They might have been here the first time, but they've been uh, like restocked because the chapter changed or because it decided it wanted to. So just make sure that you pick those up. Okay, as I'm checking more shops, I've made my way back to Insectron. And this one is going to have a bunch of things for me to pick up. The Rainbow Newts. I'm going to want to grab some of these. Uh, we need 19 of them total across both. Uh... Oops. Nope. I wanted to buy all of them across both. And they're somewhat rare. Not too bad. Just going to buy those. We definitely want the eels. Going to be using those soon. Uh, pick up the diamonds. Rubies, you're probably good on. You only need 20 of these overall. The Lapis, we definitely want to grab those. You can pick up the Firestone if you want. It's not as important. Uh, same with the Dark Onyx. We're going to need a few of them eventually. We just don't need a lot of them. So if you're short on money, those are definitely something to skip. Uh, let's see. We're. I'll grab two of those just so that I have a few more in case I need them on the flow. That's it for in there. Move out of the way. So yeah, I just warped over there in order to get here. And let's go over here real quick and check out this shop. Do you have anything that I want to buy? Uh, you can buy the elixirs if you feel you need the elixirs. I wouldn't worry about it. It's not that important. Uh, just make sure you have a supply. Grab a couple of those. A couple of those. Uh, divine healing. We don't really need those. Let's see. Iron cube and iron board are now infinite. I'm going to pick up a few more. Actually, you know what? Uh, I'm not even. Well, I'll buy two of those and I'll buy one of those. 
it doesn't really matter. They're unlimited and we can get them whenever we want. Max out the carbon alloy. We're going to need uh, six for the flow and 27 for the factory. So anytime you can get a chance to get those, pick them up. Uh, you don't really need to worry about these all that much. We'll grab those later. Now, if you don't have the money for all these, the weapons do take priority. So make sure that you're picking up those first. We're going to go over here and we're going to hit the last of the shops. Inspires you to create stuff, huh? All right, here at the east side shop, I forgot to go into the prison and get the uh, thing I was supposed to buy because I am very, very smart. All right, we need... Where are they? Knockout hands. We need three of these. And let's see, we need satellite MG. We need one of these. And let's see. Oh, did I get the right one? No, I got the wrong one. Don't get this one. Get this one. MG, not SG. Now I'm going to be short of money for all this stuff. Lovely. And let's see. Two beam satellites. A forest runner bow, which I don't have the money for. And I'm going to go fight one more battle to buy another Triton hatchet in level three prison. I'll meet you there. OK, we're back. Just warp to level three. And we want one more Triton hatchet. So, yeah, the only thing I didn't have enough money to buy was the uh, let's see here, the uh, forest runner bow. We need 1800 for that, so we will grab that next time that we have enough money to do so. But until then, we need to head back on over here. Seems that we can't get our Galactic Visa for plenty of reasons in this game, and one of them being prison, the next one being, well, the computers are down. So we need to go and deal with that. But anyway, that's pretty much all for this one. And I'll see you guys next time.